man. I couldn't. All right. Um, are you guys talking about chapter four, one hundred one? I mean, we were, but it just in general, I think it's more of a high level conversation. Like, okay, what okay. is not, what yeah. we can do? What we can do? What we can do? Yeah, is how about we remove all sorts of assumptions and uh, we let the Quran determine what salah means just yeah. by looking at just by looking at its uses. Shall we do that? I think the 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 challenge there is again, if it was that simple, then we would all have a unified understanding, right? No. Uh, you're going to have your verses for your justification. I'm going to have my verses for my justification. And, you know, it, it's not going to match. No. Right. Um, in, in fact, um, in fact, I'm, I'm not going to use uh, a few, uh, some verses uh, as you're suggesting. I can use each and every single one. And I can use each and every single one anyone brings to the contrary to prove without a single shadow of a doubt that the only thing it can mean is commitment. But I could do that yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. But you so, just have to be prepared. You just have to be prepared to submit okay. to what the Quran says. So how do you, hold on a second. So how do you do commitment? Why are you not supposed to do commitment under normal under normal circumstances, walking or riding? Um, like why would I have short on my commitments? Okay, we can't have a conversation like that. I mean, well, that's, look, that's a the conversation. Way, the way, the same, the way, you ask the same me questions. I ask you questions, you answer, I answer. That's a conversation. No, not not when we're just flying from one place to another. If you just give me one moment. Na Naveed, <laughs> would you like to hear other people talk? Right. Chapter four one oh one, for instance, that you guys were, were discussing, um, where the uh, messenger and the believers were told to shorten their salah. What you will find over there is A, the messenger is the individual leading the Salah, of course. However, what you will find also is that he is not among, among those who, quote unquote, well, I'm not going to use prostrate. He is not among those who do sujood. Oh, sorry, uh, 102, the next verse. Uh, the, the let's, verse. Start with, let, let's start with 101. I think it's. Okay. Uh, All right. No problem. No problem. So it says, when you travel during war, you commit no errors by shortening your salah. If you fear that the disbelievers may attack you, surely the disbelievers are your ardent, ardent enemies. So the, the reason why the uh, salah is being shortened here is because of fear that the disbelievers may attack. But, but oh. a commitment, that's what I'm trying to understand. You said in every use case, the word commitment would work. But I never see a uh, use case where my commitment to God is going to be shortened. Well, until you actually hear the argument, you're, you're kind of going a bit ahead there. So hear the argument first. Um, so as it says, uh, the reason the uh, Salah is shortened is because of fear of uh, that the disbelievers may attack. That's the reason the Salah is shortened. So in the next verse, in the next verse... Wait, 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 wait. We're not, <laughs> you can't just get an hand wave. The next verse that I don't think that that suffices. Why would someone shorten their commitment? Like, what I beg your pardon. Commitment? Like when you use the term commitment, like in English, you can I didn't use the, I didn't use the term commitment. Now, I just said when you shorten your salah. Okay, so but how do you understand that? If you say that salat is commitment, like can you explain kind of uh, what does that mean to you? That's literally what I'm trying to do. You keep interrupting me. I haven't made my point. So wait till I make my point, then you will understand what the point is. Shall we? Yes, yes. All right. So, in the next verse, after we have been told that the reason the Salah is shortened is because of fear of attack from the disbelievers, in the next verse, it says, And when you were among them and you led them the Salah, then let a group of them stand guard with you and let them take their arms. Then when they said you do, then let them be from behind you. The interesting thing here is, A, the messenger is obviously the one leading the Salah. However, he is not among those who do sujood. Because what it says is, فَإِذَا sajidu, When they have submitted, excluding the messenger. Now, when they have submitted. What, and, and, and after that, it even says, when they have submitted, then let them be from behind you. So they go behind the, the messenger and others. Only once they have uh, once they have done the sujood, not before, but after. 
So that means before that sujood, where they go behind the messenger and the rest, they can either be standing adjacent to the messenger or in the, or in front of the messenger. Uh, those are the only two options because behind only happens later. Now, this salah that we are talking about here, I will prove to you using another verse so that so that we and uh, this is the whole Quran, Bil Quran that I, that I was talking about. So this salah here is one where the messenger is, is leading, and the people, the believers, are the ones to submit. Not him, but the believers are the ones to submit. Now. That is identical to 5-7, which really starts from 5-6, but it's 5-7 I want you guys to see. So it says, وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَمِيثَاقَهُ الَّذِي وَثَّقَكُمْ بِهِ إِذْ قُلْتُمْ سَمِعْنَا وَأَتَّعْنَا And remember the favor of God upon you and his covenant which he bound you with when you said, we hear and we obey. Now, where would they hear this covenant? They would hear it from the messenger. And once they hear it from the messenger, this covenant of God, they would, uh, they would, uh, they would say, we heard and we obeyed, which is, which is another word of saying, فَإِذَا سَجِدُوا When they have submitted. They are submitting, they are submitting, to, uh, to what the messenger is leading them in, which is conveying the message of God. He's conveying the message of God to them, and they are submitting. In other words, um, this is the commitment of the messenger to convey the message, and obviously the commitment of the believers to take aboard the message and act on it. That is the commitment. Um, just to give you... I mean, no, no offense, Maverick. It's a, you know, I don't find it productive if it's just a, a long kind of a soliloquy without being probed. I, mean, I still fail to understand how uh, 40101, uh, you would be shortening your commitment. And I just want to understand what do you mean by commitment? Can we just explain that? Okay. What I mean by commitment is the messenger and including the messengers, including the believers are committed, um, as far as the messenger is concerned, obviously, to convey the message, and as far as the believers are, are concerned, to be present when the, mes when the message is being conveyed, and to take that on board and to act on it. So which one of the three do you have a problem with? Does the messenger not have a commitment to convey the message? Do the believers not have a commitment? I, I don't huh? think that... I, I see a lot of hoops to jump through to try to make a coherent sense of it. Why don't you make you the argument instead? I think if you understood it as this is literally a ritual prayer, uh, it simplifies the matter. It's like, look, if you're basically observing the, uh, the, the ritual prayer, if you fear being attacked, God is giving you a caveat as far as what you're supposed to do. I mean, that's like literally it's a three sentence uh, explanation. Uh, are you familiar with a, a comms razor? Basically, the, the, the simplest explanation is probably the one that's the most right. You know, Correct. If I have to jump through like you know ten verses and multiple kind of interpretations to try to understand what salat means. I think you know we again we, we miss the bigger picture. When God tells us in Surah two verse three, Aram salat, like the believers are those who basically observe the contact prayers. That's something that up front we should be aware of what this is. Okay. If could you give me could like you, kind could of you, linguistics? All right. One more. One, one, okay, one, one moment. Could you give me a single reason why you think it's a ritual prayer in this verse? Just one. It's just the context, the, the, the bowing, the prostrating, right. the, the standing well, guard. The well, well, like, all right, one moment, one moment. Okay, all right, prayer. okay, look, you're just throwing words, one moment. The messenger, first and foremost, does not prostrate. Secondly, um, what I, else? I don't believe see? that. I, I think that, that that's your interpretation, but when okay. it's day, I believe the messenger is included in that. Okay, the, the, we, we don't need to believe. The, the Arabic is as follows. Yes. Uh, I'm has... very familiar with the Arabic. The Arabic okay. says when they, they, they prostrate. This doesn't mean that the messenger wasn't prostrate. Unless you can show me in the Arabic, it specifically says the messenger did not prostrate during this time. That's a speculation. Hold on. You just said the word they. Who's, the, who's they? So this, who's being this spoken to? Would be everyone who's doing this a lot. <laughs> who's being spoken to? When it says okay. when they prostrated. Hold on, hold on. It specifically says when they prostrate. Then let them be from behind you. 
who's being spoken to and who's being spoken about. The messenger is prostrating and then they rotate. That's the wait, wait, this, hold on, bro. This is this. Did I really, bro? The person is is the person being spoken to the messenger or not? It's addressing the 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 messenger, but in essence, it's addressing the group as well as far as what they're supposed to do is for conduct. It's, it's obvious. I mean, unless you can show me that it says the messenger did not prostrate, well, yeah, that's an interpretation. That how is, how is how is the messenger involved in the term they? He's leading the the salat for them. What do you think that that constitutes? Oh my God. He's wait, leading the, the message for the disbelievers, wait, right? This, wait, 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 wait. The messenger is being spoken to, and yet he's part of the term they. Yes, in this context, yes. Because yeah, the aspect. What language is this? Can he's someone help me out? He's distinguishing. Uh, I'll help you out a bit. Uh, How's that even possible? He's the one leading it. Hey, Maverick, he's the one, down, bro. Yeah, he's, he's the one leading it because he's leading it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, simple. But who he's is he leading? leading? And then basically, when he goes down for prostration, they rotate. That's it. Done. But how how can he be? How can you say he's evolved in the term they? This is insanity. If he's leading it, if he's leading it right? He's in but he's being spoken to. How can he be? Yeah, they, because, they, because they, he's they third party. Wait, he's listen. He's being... the, listen, guys. One minute. Is the term they a third person or not? Yeah. And who's the second person being spoken to? Yeah, but Prophet. again. So Even how can he be, English. how can he be person with, in English, how can, one minute, one minute, let me make the point, let me make the point. How can he be the third person if he's the second person being spoken to? No problem, because he's the one being told to lead whatever the other yeah. people are doing. You think? Oh, I'm okay, just, I, I give up, I give up. I give up. I expect you to agree, but the aspect is like, why is that so controversial? This is the way that yep. literally, it's like millions of people read it. They understand it that way. He left already. Why is that so yeah, but like, yeah, but I, I still got a question. Hold on a second. Yeah, he Hold left, he left, he left. Is this fair to say, Ahmed, 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 is it fair to say he lost the debate? Are you satisfied now? Wait, recorded? I got a question. I got a question, Amit, wait. Uh, Amit, stop. Uh, Hold on. This is funny. So, and Abid, one sec, one sec. This is funny, though. This wasn't even a controversial point. Like, in all honesty, it's like, look, this is a very simple way of understanding it. The, the, the messenger of God is leading the Salat. The Salat is a ritual prayer. And the group prostrates, basically, including the messenger, they rotate. That's it. So in essence, there's always someone standing guard. 